Okay. We are still in the waterlogged tunnel. Find ourselves in that old predicament. And. Oops, I did not want to do that. But now I get these guys. Now they can actually again shoot through the thing. But I can't. Ah, this is just. A little vexing. Okay, now at least I have the I have everything on five now. Due to your high ego, we need one more ego, which we will get at level nine at the next level. Uh, so we are gonna keep on the no worm skull actually to actually then get that. And light manipulation now does one d five plus one. Okay, and the next one is going to be one d four plus two and so on. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, okay, so advancing this mutation shaves a lot of the cooldown. That's nice. This one, okay, increases the, um, the amount of copies and increases the duration. This one, what does this do? Also, it increases the duration. May fire missile weapons. I wonder if this at some point changes. It's kind of weird that it's. I wonder if at some point you can fire all kinds of crap through it. For some reason, sometimes our our clones can actually. I don't know who I am. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Um, I wonder if this is just a bug that they can shoot through it. I don't know. Okay, slumbling. No, you attack the slumberling. How about you? Okay. Fell asleep again. Teleported away and fell asleep. It is a, like, the teleport... The teleport other thing is super great against situations such as this one. This would have been pretty horrible if uh, we didn't have that skill. But we did, so everything was alright. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, that's the albino ape. What I'm going to do, I'm going to murder that albino ape. Let's see that we can get our laser charges back up. How many charges do we have? Oh yeah, next one's going to be seven. Hey, albino ape, where are you? There you are. Bzzzt. Sprint away. Oh, you're also sprinting, of course, okay. Can we actually kill him? I think we can. Yes, and it's dead. Okay. I wondered if we should, if I should have, if I should summon my peeps. But I didn't need to. Could kill the Abino ape myself. That's actually kind of, kind of awesome. Yeah, the thing is, like, the short bow doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, that's, that's, now I can't get my guys in, of course. Please take him out. Nope. Okay. Okay, yeah, now, now it works. Okay, 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 okay. Let's rest a bit to regain our laser charges. That's the thing, if you rely on light manipulation, you need to rest a bit more than you need to with another type of character. Because you always need to recharge your lasers. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Nope, it doesn't, it doesn't go through. Just with our clones that it works. Interestingly enough, if um, you can even use the force bubble, if someone is directly adjacent to you, they're just gonna get pushed away. So that's nice. Well, let's get our dudes in. And right now, since I had used the force bubble, they can't use it. <laughs> because they will have the same cooldown. So that's kind of nice. That's good to know. I will, uh, I will actually make copious use of that knowledge. Oh, the skull is cracked. Jesus. 
My gauntlets are cracked. Woolly bollocks is cracked. Uh, I need to run away for now. The two are kind of a nasty, nasty combination. Where are you? There you are. Perfect, perfect. Um, do this. Yeah, well, let's do some cooldown, but by the time I have finished... Yeah. This time... Yeah, that works. Now let's let our guys come in. And fuck him up. Yeah. Good. I think the no one is somewhere else now. Is my stuff still cracked now? No, it isn't. Alright. Good. And you can, uh, you can employ some tactics here. For the laser stuff, the, the overlay UI is so helpful to just see how many charges you have left on one, on one glance. That is incredibly useful. Okay, let's go further, further, further south. Christ in a hot tub. There's a lot of crap there. Um, you stay over there for now. Rest up until healed. Here you are. Let's see if we can laser this guy. Yes. Let's see. No, nope, it's not cracked anymore. Okay. Well, that actually kind of works. Okay. Now we only have the the Goombas left. Painted wooden tunic. Let's see what we have here. One starry evening, a babe. Yeah, we have seen that before. Oh, it starts so nice. One starry evening. No, I... Yeah. Well, it worked, actually. Now you've boxed me in, you idiot. Okay. Nothing really here. Electrified. Uh, yes, another trinket in it. Let's get the cell out and uh, let's continue. Okay, I think we are almost almost done here. Another crab. Let's laser the crab away. As you do. Okay, we have the star apple, bronze deck iron. Uh, nah. Nah. Copper nuggets. Yeah, let's just pick those up. Not really useful, but okay. There's something interesting here. Let's see what this might be. Okay, we're gonna equip those. Do we have anything totally not useful? We have eight copper nuggets. Jeez, those have to go into the chest, definitely. Drop the bronze dagger. Um, take a look at those chem cells. Both are low. Hmm. Ah, okay. Well, another no worm. Okay, no problem. No worm, no problem. I think we also have too much food by now, so I think I don't need to actually pick up all that jerky. Yes, level up. Attribute point, that's gonna go on to Ego again. We have four mutation points, so let's get something new. Disintegration, stunning force. Oh yeah, we could get disintegration. Seven by seven around self. The problem is, if we get disintegration, we can't.
cannot do we cannot get our clones as long as disintegration is available because they're just going to disintegrate us oh. but we could get cryogenesis uh, cryokinesis not genesis <laughs> um a stunning force was also quite nice wasn't it you know what i'm gonna try this one I mean, disintegration is cool, don't get me wrong, but so chill. All right, everybody, chill. Um, I'm going to put this instead of force bubble for now. On four, and uh, let's see what that does. Yeah, that's good. That could also potentially be super devastating. We have to be careful. We cannot invoke that as long as um, an enemy is right next to us and then have our buddies come in because that will just be quite horrible. Okay, there's a hatch. I won't jump down that hatch. That was all bad news all the time. So. Oh, it's frozen. Yeah, that is actually like that's actually quite good. Let's see what does it do. Oh man, it does a lot of damage. 5D. I mean it's divided by two. But well, that's a good attack skill. Like to I think I needed to have needed to get another good attack skill. Problem is now the Sometimes, like, this stuff does not really work right. I don't know how you can change stuff, in what stuff is up here and what isn't. Because now there's a bunch of garbage up here that I don't need to know. I would like to know. You know? Other stuff. Okay, let's see. Dueling stones, lunge. Defensive stands. Then lunge, attack and then lunge backwards. Okay. Um, we obviously cannot get proselytize yet. We could get skillful butchery. We could get a Kimbo. I don't know what I'm going to get. That was first aid against staunch wounds. Okay. Heal. And healing. to five. That's actually kind of cool. You know what? I'm gonna get that. And that's an ability, yeah. Heal. Um, put that on zero. We can try that soon. So let's do healing. You begin healing, and then you just wait, and you heal faster. Okay, that could be kind of nice. I never used that before, but uh, it's something. Oops, I got out a lot of fresh water. I think now I'm carrying way too much fresh water. You can just drop the strange tube. It's a metal folding chair, of course. Um, I guess I need to... Uh, I need to drop this water skin. Sorry, but... Let's pour everything on myself. Blah. Let's... Yeah. Okay, um... Let's keep going. That was all very interesting. I'm wet. Soaking wet. Hopefully there's nobody with an electrical weapon or something. That would be quite painful if that happened. Engraved kilted shawl. I wonder how that works. Zerashir again. Deep in the mirror-worshipping democracy of Sherkukesh, Zerashir stumbled upon a clan of robots performing a secret ritual. Yeah, that happened to me on Tuesday. Because of his reputation for murdering someone with a dagger made of the fabric of time, well, that's also something that I'm known of, 
They furiously rebuked him and declared him a villain to their kind. Yeah, that was basically Wednesday. The location of the Shakukesh Mirror Quadrangle. Ha! Okay, so we have this our second historic side quest and we know where it is. So that is great. That's cool. It gives us some stuff to do instead of going to Golgotha. I'm not keen into I'm not keen on going to Golgotha too soon. Let's take all these guys out. Alright. Engraved bronze short sword, what do we have here? Darashir. Fought as a mercenary to liberate grazing hedonists. That was Thursday. <laughs> He wielded a dis desiccated sword with su such deftness that it became forever known as Desiccated Desiccated Dika, the friend of the grazing hedonists. Uh, goof! It's all goof. Old goof. Okay. Ah, I like this game so much. I think we need to go one more, th one further south, and then we are the next jobber. Painted leather moccasins. Klepur tracked th on an aus one auspicious day. Klepur tracked through a lifeless salt pan and stumbled on a mysterious monolith. From that day forth, he always kept some salt hidden on his person. Okay. I mean, there's certainly no darts of salt in this world, so... I don't know if that's... So... I don't know. Laborer security card. Hey, we're definitely gonna take that. This will get us, get us through red doors. Which is cool. Also... I'm going to finally drop these fucking spiked gauntlets. Instead, I'm going to equip these boar skin gloves. Alright. This looks good. Okay. Um... I sure would like to find that sphere of negative weight, but didn't get really get lucky here. These are just normal bones, aren't they? Yep. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Okay, let's go south. And I think we are done. I think this will be the area where we can go back up. Which is good. I'm just about done with this. With this cave. We have artifact poison gas. Okay. Another copper nugget, and that's just going to. I'm going to sell that, or rather. Either sell that or. Um, put it into a chest, I guess. Okay, yep, there are the stairs up. Good. Um, another copper nugget. I think we have ten of these now. That's quite a few too many. For my... For my tastes. Yep, this is the end of the underground waterway. And now, I'm just going to explore the rest of this little area here. And then, oh, another poison gas grenade, okay. 
Um, and then we're gonna go up. Yeah. Yep. Good. Alright. Um, thanks for watching. In the next video we're gonna go back up to Joppa. And uh, then we're gonna do whatever. We're gonna look for these historic sites, I guess. Maybe we're gonna do the Rust Wells first. I don't know. We're gonna see. Thank you for watching and uh, see you. See y'all again next time. Bye.